In these three examples, we all have what we call rational equations. The unknown uh, is in the denominator. The easiest thing to do is get rid of all denominators by multiplying by every term by the same thing. So here I'm taking all three terms and multiplying them by x. This x cancels this x and I'm left with 5. I have 9 times x there and 11 times x there. Bring the 9 x across and I get 11 x minus 9 x there. The right hand side becomes 2 x and the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So I get 5 over 2 here is equal to x because these 2's cancel. Okay, so multiply everything by the denominator. Now the next two questions have binomial denominators. I've already shown you a shortcut for the first one. The first one you can do the shortcut because there's nothing added or subtracted to the fractions, whereas this one there is. And the shortcut, you remember, is just to cross multiply. That times that equals that times that. Once you've cross multiply, get rid of the brackets. Remember multiplying both terms by 3 and both terms by 5. Now do your cross-border shopping. The left-hand side is minus 5r. And the right-hand side is 35 plus 9. So I get negative 2r equals 44. And the opposite of multiplying by negative 2, divide both sides by negative 2. And out pops your answer. r is negative 22. Now, this one gets more complicated. I can't just cross multiply because of this fellow here. Okay, and it has a denominator of 1. So what I have to do is multiply everything by this bracket. 3x plus 2, that's that bracket. Everything by the other bracket, 2x minus 5. Okay, so on the left hand side, it looks like that. And I have the 3x plus 2 and the 2x minus 5 times that term. And my last term, I have to multiply by the same two brackets. Okay, so this question gets quite ugly um, because of the, the multiple multiplications. Now you can go a bit wild with the cancelling. This cancels that, and this cancels that. Life is still not a bowl of cherries though, because once I've multiplied both of these things by negative 5, I still have 4 multiplied by that bracket and that gives me 6x squared negative 15x plus 4x is negative 11x and negative 10 and 7 times 3x plus 2 okay and now what I've got is a quadratic and I'm not going to go any farther on this question but that's how you would get rid of an, a denominator when you have binomials on the denominator and you cannot just do a quick cross multiply. My next stage would be clear all of the brackets, make one side zero, and throw everything into the quadratic formula.